It's the OCG Fam Show, and we're still talking about Mag Hungry Plants. Day two. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. How you doing with this whole thing? I'm doing okay. Staying home, taking her easy, staying safe. It's going okay for me. I know some people are having it hard, and I, uh, my heart goes out to you. Um... What's there to say? Let's get on with the show. So, um, yesterday we were talking about mag hungry plants, magnesium hungry plants. And uh, I gotta say that this is kind of slowly rollingly become kind of a thing. It started off with just like, well, you know, there's in the soil and you do with the Demeters and you get the magnesium that way. But there are some genetics that are very hungry for magnesium. It just is. And it seems like it's kind of cropped up. And uh, yesterday we talked about what to do if you have a magnesium deficiency. But today I got the clip of Scott and I. We were talking a little more about those mag hungry genetics and uh, what we intend to do about it long term, what he intends to do about it long term, and also just kind of chatting about the whole thing. And I thought it was kind of interesting and I think you might find it interesting too. So watch this video and I'll talk to you after. Well, I guess what they're they're asking, I mean, like, I mean, I bet you both of us could use more magnesium, but I don't know that most of our plants could use more magnesium. No. Like, I mean, it was not something you'd roll with. Like, it, it wouldn't be your recipe. It would no, be we're actually working something. on the product now. Yeah. Because uh -huh. it's become a thing with genetics that there is quite a few that are very, very hungry for mag. Do you think that's a, a thing that's changed over time? Is I mean, genetics are wildly changing. Wow, when you breed shit, like, yeah. what happens? I mean... Well, because we have an open field now where we did not in well, the no, past you know and everybody's a breeder yeah. now so you know we're yeah. not stabilizing things we're we're not crossing back going for just these perfect functions of these plants can do yeah we're just creating fun little names Frankenstein. And, literally yeah. and then they're not stable they start to drift i mean there's a lot of them there's i mean there's some good breeders out there there's no question and there's some amazing stable genetics yeah. but we're seeing more and more as this becomes a more and more open market way more drift in genetics. Do you, I mean, just your opinion, do you think that something that's mag hungry is maybe not a great genetic? No, not necessarily, because I've seen some that aren't. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, so, because usually the, you're not going in with a magnesium nitrate. If you're going yeah. with like magnesium sulfate, now you're putting a sulfur element to that magnesium element, which is creating a giant terpene profile. So that's why I like uh -huh. Epsom salt or yeah. nanotech Epsom salt, which is basically mag amp, yeah, sort of uh -huh. a form of it. Yeah. But that sulfate on the mag is giving you the mag you need that's dragging in the sulfur that the plant will enhance the terpene with and you get really So it can be a good thing. Well that's what we're playing with is creating a basically a terpene sauce in a sense where if you have a mag issue, this will be your mag replacement. It'll be you know, we're aiming for like a one and a half to two percent magnesium, so you don't need much. But it's going to cure these guys that have the marginal yellowing and yeah, weird, uh -huh. you know. But may even be beneficial to some guy that wasn't, didn't know he needed mad. <laughs> but yeah, if you have, I mean, you just never know when you're going to get that industry's genetic, so. Okay. Good answer. Okay. What do you think of that? Did you find that informative, entertaining, useful? Let's talk more about it in the comments. I noticed down in the comments a few people were talking about their thoughts about magnesium and uh, why it's happened and how to deal with that kind of thing. Let's keep that up. Let's all keep talking. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.